It starts small. A click, a blink, a screen lights up with a pixelated dolphin. And just like that, the digital rabbit hole opens. You're holding a Flipper Zero, a toy, a tool, or a Trojan horse for a new generation of cyber explorers. But wait, across the table sits a bulkier, colder, more intimidating beast. The Hack RF Portapack H4M. No friendly mascots, just raw radio power, now fully portable. If Flipper's the scout, Hack RF is the cannon. In a world teetering between innovation and intrusion, these two devices are rewriting the rules of ethical hacking and, depending on who you ask, maybe even breaking them. The Flipper Zero looks harmless. It fits in your hand like a toy, feels like a gadget from your childhood, and invites you in with a sense of playful curiosity. But inside that shell? Serious tech. This device can read, write, emulate, and interact with RFID, NFC, sub-gigahertz signals, infrared, and Bluetooth. It's like someone crammed a spy lab into a Tamagotchi. And the best part? Anyone can use it. No terminal commands, no software installed, no knowledge of the electromagnetic spectrum needed. Just power it on, scroll through the menu, and you're hacking garage doors or scanning hotel keycards before your coffee gets cold. It's an open invitation to the world of signal manipulation. For better or worse, Flipper Zero democratized access to tools once reserved for red teams and researchers. That's what makes it powerful and dangerous. But while the Flipper charms with ease and accessibility, the Hack RF Portapack H4M setup commands a different kind of respect. This is not a toy. It doesn't smile. It doesn't blink. It doesn't teach. It demands. It expects you to already know. The Hack RF1, when paired up with Portapack H4M, isn't just a receiver, it's a transceiver. One that opens up the entire radio frequency spectrum, from 1 MHz to 6 GHz. GSM, GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, satellite bands. If it speaks over the air, the Hack RF Portapack H4M can listen and sometimes talk back. But unlike the Flipper, this isn't plug and play, at least not at first. It's code and command lines until you add the Portapack H4M. That's when things change with a built-in touchscreen and dedicated firmware like Havoc, a self-contained SDR. It's software-defined radio, built for those who can read signals like a second language. You don't just turn it on, you build with it. You use it to analyze, you command the airwaves, and once you know how, the power is staggering. With HackRF Portapack H4M, you can perform real-time spectrum analysis, decode digital signals, emulate base stations, replay radio captures, spoof GPS signals. You're not just watching the digital world anymore, you're interacting with it, rewriting it, reshaping it in real time. And that's where the line between white hat and black hat starts to blur. On one hand, you have the keys and can play in the sandbox, poke around, break a few toy bricks, see how the system reacts, maybe even find a secret door you weren't supposed to notice. It's an invitation to explore, to tinker, to learn through curiosity. With Flipper, the world becomes a puzzle, and every beep and signal is a clue. It's the hacker's playground, safe, controlled, but filled with surprises. The other? Hack RF with Portapack H4M gives you the blueprint to break the sandbox entirely and rebuild it as your own. It hands you the schematics to the entire city, not just the sandbox. It doesn't just let you play with the blocks, it lets you redefine gravity, rewrite the rules of physics, and craft new blocks from scratch. It doesn't ask if you're ready, it assumes you are, or it breaks you trying. Flipper opens the door. Hack RF asks, can you pick the lock without the key, decode the door's language, spoof the signal, and rewrite the rules of the lock itself? Flipper's the spark. Hack RF Portapack H4M is the fire. Flipper turns you into a hacker. Hack RF Portapack turns you into a creator or a destroyer. One is the first step, the other is the test of everything you've learned. But here's the twist both devices can be used for good. Both can empower penetration testers, researchers, ethical hackers, and curious minds. The Flipper is perfect for quick tests, on-the-go exploits, and hardware exploration. It's a fantastic training tool, a Swiss Army knife that lives in your pocket. It gets you thinking like a hacker before you even realize you've crossed that threshold. The Hack RF Portapack H4M? It's not for play, it's for battle. It's the tool of choice when you've graduated from toys and entered the arena when the job demands surgical precision, deep analysis, and tools that don't come with a training manual. It just requires raw power and endless possibilities. This is what red teams deploy when they need to dissect a wireless breach down to the waveform. It's what researchers turn to when they're mapping unknown spectrums, decoding cryptic signals, or trying to reverse engineer a communication system that was never meant to be understood. But pair it with the Portapack H4M and the battlefield gets portable. Suddenly, the lab isn't confined to a desk, it's in your hands. Hack RF Portapack H4M becomes a weapon you can carry in your jacket pocket, 
one capable of scanning, recording, transmitting, and attacking in real time. With the H4M mod, you're no longer just observing the spectrum, you're commanding it, crafting signals on the fly, spoofing, jamming, and hijacking protocols that were once untouchable. Flipper Zero might show you the signal. Hack RF Portapack H4M combo, it lets you own it. It's the gear you grab when everything else falls short. When you're not just looking to test the system, you're planning to rewrite it. In the hands of the untrained, it's dangerous. In the hands of an expert, it's unstoppable. The flipper makes you feel like a hacker. The Hack RF one requires you to become one. At first glance, the Flipper Zero and Hack RF one seem worlds apart. One is pocket-sized and playful, the other is complex and demanding. But when you peel back the layers, you'll see, deep down, they speak the same language. Both devices are built to talk to the invisible world. They can send and receive radio signals. They can sniff out wireless activity. They can both be used to capture, replay, or analyze data in the air. That includes signals from car fobs, garage doors, RFID badges, TV remotes, smart meters, and more. To the average person, this might sound like wizardry, but underneath, it's all radio waves just moving through different frequencies. And both tools can tune into those frequencies. Think of the radio spectrum like a giant highway with thousands of lanes. Most people only ever see the exits they're told to take. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, FM radio. But Flipper Zero and Hack RF one they can take any exit they want. They can drive in lanes most people don't even know exist. They both support what's known as Software Defined Radio, or SDR. That means they don't just use radio signals, they let you shape them. You can record a transmission, look at its waveform, slow it down, zoom in, and break it apart. You can learn how it works, and then try to send your own. The Flipper Zero does this in a narrow, user-friendly way. It's preloaded with tools that help you read and clone common signals. Garage doors, keyless entry, and NFC cards. You push a button, and it just works. You're not expected to dive into code. It's clean, fun, accessible. The Hack RF Portapack H4M, on the other hand, gives you everything. It covers a much wider frequency range, from 1 MHz all the way up to 6 GHz. That's a massive slice of the airwaves, more than almost any other SDR on the market in its price range. You can use it to explore police radios, satellite transmissions, airplane transponders, smart grid infrastructure, and more. And here's where it gets interesting. If you're using the Portapack H4M add-on with your Hack RF one it starts to feel a lot like a flipper on steroids. You get a screen, buttons, and a whole interface to interact with signals, without even needing a computer. Just like the flipper, the Portapack lets you scan, capture, and replay signals right from your hand. You can listen to raw RF traffic, jam or spoof simple signals, even decode digital voice or pager messages. So while the Flipper Zero is the gateway and the Hack RF Portapack H4M is the laboratory, they both live in the same universe. They're both about curiosity. They're both about control. They're both about seeing what's really there in a world most people never notice. The difference? The Flipper holds your hand. The Hack RF Portapack H4M lets you build the road. So which one is better? The truth is that this question misses the point. The Flipper Zero is about access. The Hack RF Portapack H4M is about control. One lowers the barrier, the other raises the ceiling. If you're just getting started, pick up a flipper. Let it spark your imagination. Let it teach you how signals move through space and how devices talk in whispers you were never meant to hear. Use it to learn, to play, to discover. But if you already know the language of signals, if you dream in spectrograms and code, then the Hack RF Portapack H4M is your next move. It's not just a device, it's a gateway to absolute mastery over the wireless world. Two tools, two paths, one revolution in your hands. Are you here to play or are you here to build? Because once you choose, there's no going back. If you find this video interesting, like, comment, and subscribe.